Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Man Crush Monday. Here we are, end of week five, and I do have a couple of guys that I want to tout for you tonight. Um, actually, a couple got added to my list just this afternoon um, based on some injuries that occurred. So before I get into that, I want to go with, I think, one of the more obvious choices this week on the waiver wire, and that's Chicago Bears wide receiver Cameron Meredith. Now, um, he may have already gotten picked up prior to this week in several leagues, but I know in a couple of my leagues, he's still out there on the waiver wire, and he's definitely worth an add. This week, he had nine receptions for 130 yards and a touchdown, was targeted 12 times. Obviously, the giant recipient of uh, Kevin White's targets after White was placed on injury reserve this week. Uh, Cameron Meredith does have great size for an outside wide receiver. He's 6'3", 207 pounds. He did look great out there, and obviously if he's going to be getting 12 targets a game, he's definitely a starter, uh, someone that you can start on your roster on a, for, on a consistent basis. Um, if he's out there on my wire, I would be willing to put down a good chunk of my fab to pick him up. Um, so that's definitely somebody that I have my eye on and I will be bidding on this week in my leagues. My other Man Crush Monday, uh, we're going to talk about two running backs here. This is a result of Charles Sims surprisingly getting placed on injured reserve today. Um, he was listed as doubtful for tonight's Monday night game, and I know he had been battling a bit of a knee injury, but I didn't realize it was serious enough to place him on IR, so uh, maybe they didn't disclose the full story there, but... With that news, um, obviously Doug Martin is expected back, but there's two rookie running backs that I'm looking at from Tampa Bay that may be available in your leagues. The first is Peyton Barber. Peyton Barber, uh, he was highly touted by Waldman, uh, Matt Waldman this offseason in his rookie scouting portfolio. He was actually listed pre-draft as Waldman's number four running back. So that says enough about him right there. Uh, he's listed at 5'11", 225 pounds, so he does have good size. Um, you know, he probably did leave college a year early. Uh, he left because he was trying to get money to help his mom, which I can totally understand. He would have benefited from another year in college to kind of showcase his talents, and he actually went undrafted. But he was promoted to their active roster, I think, even prior to week one. So he's been there. He hasn't gotten any carries so far this season, but I would expect to see some carries from him tonight. Uh, so that's definitely a guy that I would be looking to add. He has way more upside than Jaquiz Rogers what, uh, does. And so Jaquiz, I'm kind of, I mean, if you're in a pinch, uh, you may grab him, but that's not somebody that I'm looking for. For the future, this Man Crush Monday series is kind of about finding guys that could be viable assets on your roster um, for a long period of time. So Peyton Barber is the first one of those. The other uh, running back is the guy who actually just got promoted because of the Charles Sims injury, and that's uh, another another undrafted rookie, Russell Hansbro. And I don't really have any information about him because he's not even listed in the NFL database. So that should tell you that he is available on your waiver wire. So if somebody's already grabbed um, Peyton Barber and Cameron Meredith, and there's nobody else out there that you really like, uh, Russell Hansbro could be a decent add. Um and that's somebody that uh, I guess we'll have to keep an eye on. I'm sorry I don't have more information about him. I haven't even seen any film on him. So uh, we'll have to see kind of what to expect there. But obviously promoted to the active roster. So that could mean something. Um, as far as own percentages on these players, um, Cameron Meredith I think is under 3% own. 
uh, in MFL leagues. So he's somebody that even though people went out and picked him up this last week, he is probably still available in the majority of leagues, dynasty leagues out there. And Peyton Barber, uh, I, I didn't see his own percentage, but I would expect that it's a uh, 5% or below as well. He's not somebody that a lot of people are holding on to. So if you've got extra roster spots, obviously those are guys that I'm looking at this week for sure. I was actually already able to add Peyton Barber to my roster because the Monday night game has not yet kicked off. And uh, I just deactivated Charles Sims to injured reserve. So if you by chance see this video before, um, before tonight's game, kicks off you may have a chance there to go and pick him up quickly before uh, this game starts if he's still available so with that said those are my waiver wire picks this week and thanks for tuning in to another episode of man crush monday